Got this Wi-Fi dimmer off of Amazon. I saw it had an ESP chip in it inside, so it caught my eye. It said it works with the various voice assistants or what have you. Uh, but, you know, we're going to be using it with Home Assistant or some other type of home automation software once we put Tasmodo on it. Um, say it works with incandescent CFLs and LEDs. Everybody should be using LEDs. Uh, I'll have the product link in the description of the video. It's an affiliate link, but be sure to help us out and keep going. This is our first video of the channel. So inside the box, you get an included faceplate. It's more of a de decor style. Maybe like a screwless decora inside the box you're going to get four uh, wire nuts and there's two screws there'll be a little instruction manual um, and then the switch unit itself if you're using two gang install then the decor switch that's inside may look kind of weird because they're rounded corners but enough about that that's about the boxes get to the unit you pop the face plate off the unit really easy there's the little two you can all the little GPO pins, a small ribbon cable that goes inside. I was able to leave it intact when I was flashing. Uh, it goes to the microcontroller, does the dimming. The larger ribbon cable that goes to the front of the faceplate, it's easy to pop out. You lift a little gate. I had to unattach that one to flash, otherwise the unit wouldn't go into flash mode. Uh, all those GPO pins are on the side. Um, we'll show the pin out here in a second. Uh, but it's a very simple faceplate and dimmer. You can just solder some bare wires onto the GPO pins and rock and roll. This is a picture from a different little Tuya mod I did with Tasmoto, but it's the same pinout uh, with showing the 3.3 volt, the ground. They're just attached to a GPO zero, which you need to hold to ground, RX and TX, and of course 3.3 volts. Um, there, here's the layout of the Tuya can on the side. You'll notice there's more GPIO pins. Uh, for the more advanced users that want to get, you know, add a little more stuff to it. But, you know, you should know what you're doing and you should better read the pinout. You can go ahead and pause the video if you want to see the layout here. Here's after we soldered the pins to it. The, I used some cutoff jumpers and just soldered some bare wire to GPIO pins on each side using a standard USB FTDI adapter to flash it. And, of course, you get the whole GPIO zero to ground while you're applying power. Do not connect the unit to mains power while you're flashing. This larger u cable I had right here, I had to unattach it, otherwise the unit would not enter flash mode again. The smaller one, I didn't have any issue. I could leave that one attached and it entered flash mode fine. So if you go to the Tasmoto homepage or wiki, um, you'll notice you're not going to find any Wi-Fi dimmers uh, on their page. So the firmware, I'll have to include that on my GitHub page. I'll include the links in the in the description of the video. So this unit uses a little different communication. There is a dimmer on the inside the unit that talks to the ESP8266 over serial. Uh, so I was able to reverse engineer all of the serial packets and code the different Tuya dimmer into Tasmoto itself. Uh, probably in the next week or, or so once I do have clean up a little more things I will do a pull request to that Tasmodo project itself and hopefully they'll incorporate you know, some sort of some version of it into Tasmodo uh, so we can finally have that Wi-Fi dimmer you know the production Tasmodo firmware as you can see I've once we've I've included it you just pick the two year dimmer module there's no other GPIO pins at this time and um, if you're more advanced you can turn those GPIO pins on uh, once you hit save, it should restart, go into the Tuya dimmer module. In the main menu, you'll get your typical uh, brightness, it's showing dark, bright, the toggle, etc., like you would normally see in Tasmoda and be familiar with. So let's get this added to Home Assistant. This is my little development copy in a Docker container of Home Assistant. I'll include the, the little light snippet with the additional commands for the brighter the dimmer in the description. We'll paste this in our lights YAML, file configuration YAML. There's a couple different lines. There's really only four different lines in a typical Sonoff switch. You're used to, you're going to have the brightness state topic, which is, we'll use the results that come back. There's the brightness command topic. That sends the dimmer value for the, you know, 0 to 100. We use the scale of 100 
And of course, there's the JSON that will pick out any dimmer states that come back, whether they be from MQTT or the faceplate itself. Uh, everything else is going to be the same. You want retain false and quas, that's up to you. Uh, you can use what you want in there. So once we'll save this in, the, in our YAML, minimize it, we'll go to configuration, scroll down to general, do a check config, of course. Everything's good. We'll hit restart. This only takes a few seconds here. So we'll go down to overview. It should come up here in a second. Like I say, I'll include all the copy and paste in the description. So let's take a look at the dimmer. We watch things. You can see the, see the light. Here's to your dimmer test. Open it up full screen. I'm going to change a few states. Turn it on. You can see it come on about 25% brightness. That's going to vary per bowl, by the way. I've tested about two or three different uh, LED bowls. Make sure they are dimmable bulbs. As you can see, you can change the brightness back and forth, and it changes down. It also changes on the front of the faceplate. There are some LEDs in the faceplate itself. Change it on the faceplate, so if you're interacting with it that way, uh, it'll send the MQTT packets back to Home Assistant and change the brightness so you can see the states back and forth from the switch itself. Of course in the console, while we're viewing it, you can also change the brightness and the darkness by the slider if you feel like using that GUI. You can also do your regular toggle, toggle on and off. And in the console, you're going to see the typical information back. There's the results we just saw with the, the dimmer, the dimmer values. Again, those are 0 to 100. And everything will send back and forth as you change the state to the switch. You'll see it in the console. And there's, that's all there is to it. Finally, a tasmodotized Wi-Fi dimmer you can use in your house. This is my first video of many, so be sure to subscribe and watch for any future videos. Give us a thumbs up and leave a comment for other projects or content you'd like to see. Thanks for watching.